However, there is ways to mess this up. Action. And the way to mess this up is to put your wedge, this is a wedge, put your wedge in the wrong place. Where would be the wrong place? Would be, see where the intersection of these things are? Meaning, this piece of plaster is very small. It's like this. If I put a wedge right here close to this intersection, I'm liable to bust this corner off. Yeah, bad idea. You always try to put these wedges at least a little bit away from a corner. You try to put it in the thickest place that you can. Probably wouldn't go right down to the very corner to the very end. And before I do anything, just to take some pressure off of this thing, I gotta get it loose and pull. Did you see it move, slide, because I'm pushing on it? Ooh. Let's try this. I'm scared of this because so many angle changes may cause me to break something. All I'm trying to do is to get it to crack along that edge of the shim. Now, you see that crack open up? Try to make sure that this thing is in the, it's not angled, it, it, it needs to be the angle the same way the shim is, and you kind of have to remember, okay, where's my, once you get it started, a lot of times you can twist it a little bit, but it ain't ready. Not ready to be twisted. Okay. It says I can turn it. I'm a little scared of that. Let's try this. Good crack. A little bit at a time. It's trying to come. It's just it's a female mold. It's contrary. Stubborn and changing its mind. What would happen if you just turn it over? Uh, it doesn't really do any good. Okay. Meaning the clay, we can turn it over and I'll show you, but the, the clay is in there and it, it's, it's stuck inside the mold. Okay. Uh, sometimes it helps to go underneath this, but you're you're liable to, uh, you just go slow and easy. You keep jiggling. Don't don't just pull, but okay. you got to jiggle. And this is already loose, so I'm going to very carefully. This is a good place when you've got a, when you, you got a change of directions. The, if it's going to crack and break, it's going to do it right there. You see what I mean? It will go right across here. You've, it's just a stress point. So, yeah. 
like I said, I'm gingerly doing this guy because I don't want him to fall apart. Once it, once it goes, you say, ha ha, I got him happy. Well, you don't have to say that, but that's what you want. And it tears your original all to pieces, which doesn't really matter because the original, original, is, uh, it's in the hang on the board there. Jiggle, jiggle, watch it wiggle, and that has only got one, two, three, four, five bubbles. Well, shit. Excuse my French, but see that? That's a bubble. Bubbles are not your friend in molds. Are you going to have to fix it? That's a bubble. Was this your side? Never mind. <clears throat> as far as fixing this, I would not fix it. I would pop out the undercut and I would just press clay in this thing as, as a finished mold. You see what I'm talking about? And it will have these little nerds on your surface and all you gotta do is carve them off when you come out of the mold. Pretty good piece. See your finger, fingerprints in there? Of course you do. Never mind. Let's see what else you got here. Now, this would be my side. I don't see no stinking bubbles. <laughs> don't drop it. <laughs> By the way, give me that air compressor gun and I'll show you why I brought that in here. You can stand around with a straw in your mouth and blow on these things. Or you can clean them up with this a lot easier. I'll follow what I'm talking about. Because we will reuse a lot of this clay. You've got to make sure you get that plaster out of there and it's uncontaminated. It will go back into dry clay slop and we'll reconstitute it and somebody will make something out of it next year. Try to roll this stuff out if you can. This was really wet. It's a wonder it didn't tear it up even more. God, that's... Ooh, no bubbles. Here's your awesome. hand. You can feel your mold where there is clay maybe sticking that might be a small undercut. You can take a ribbon tool, you can take a scraper tool and just scrape that off. Next time it won't stick when you press clay in there, if that makes any sense to you. Pretty good piece. I say no bubbles. Anyway, that's what they're supposed to look like, guys. Uh, the only thing you've got to clean up, basically where you put wedges in there, it will push plaster into the, it, it expands it. Take your, take your scraper tool, make sure that's cleaned out. Do that twice for Stephanie over there so her teeth don't hurt. <laughs> anyway, don't, if you don't do that though, guys, it won't go back together like it's supposed to because it's art because it's been pushed up. pushed apart. Y'all follow what I'm talking about. You can take that air compressor and actually. Well, this one's pretty clean. It's not gonna. This one doesn't work as good as the one I've got at home. However. Get all that stuff out of there, okay? Clean it up. By the way, write your name on it. I'm serious. And you'll waste a little bit of clay, but where there is plastic, 
our plaster that didn't clean off, just scrape it off and throw that away. Okay? And then it's clean. Bust these pieces up into egg sized pieces. I don't want to see half of a cat out there. <laughs> Alright. Take these shims. By the way, try to save them. These are reusable, obviously. All you got to do is clean the clean them up a little bit, which with a scraper tool doesn't, doesn't take long to clean them up. Put them in uh, one of these boxes, maybe that top box there, because we don't have any of these extras to spare. Save them. Now, the kitty. was pretty wet, mm -hmm. which is okay. Pretty good. We got a couple of little bitty bubbles right there, which can be fixed. Oh my goodness. That would be kitty. Clean this up. Clean off the wedge marks. Everybody see what you're going to be doing here? Yeah. If the uh, get you a, get you a piece of news a clean piece of newspaper and clean this play up, put it on that, and then take it to the to the recycle. Or, by the way, once you get once you get these pieces off and you've made the mess that you're going to make, well then take the rest of this out there to the plaster working table, which is this first table, and then chop him up, then put him back in there. Okay, then clean your board up, then put your board over here in a pile. You start the pile. Okay, I think I got all <laughs> Good for you. Then <laughs> clean yourself off. Then go eat. I'm ready to go eat. I have a question for you. Are you available?